Well, I'm sure a time warp is not going to work. Damn the stupid GoPro. Anyways, welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today I'm in a different little bit, different location. I'm in my homeboy's backyard. Shout out to Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds. I am out here in Oklahoma City. I am out here at the main yard location here in Dell City, Oklahoma. And today I'm going to be looking at some specific vehicles. Um, and you guys know how I get down and what I like to see from the jump. So we're going to go ahead and get directly into it. Alright guys, first things first, look at this. We have this BMW 1 Series with the M stripes and everything else. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Runs and drives, 106,000 miles on the odometer. She does not look bad, but I'm guessing that back window is busted. That's why it's taped up. 128i, both back windows are bad. Huh. We can give you a quick look in the interior. She's probably really dirty because of everything else that's going on with her, but it is listed as a run and drive. And you guys know I am a sucker for BMWs. And this one body wise looks pretty friggin' clean, man. It looks pretty friggin' clean. But, you know, look, man, I'm a visitor here. It's not something I normally do. If I see a vehicle that is uh, taped off like this one is, completely taped off, it's not something that um, I like to just mess with because I don't know all the rules and all that good stuff. So we're just going to, I'm going to add it to the watch list. We'll see what it looks like. You know, I, I could take it for its word that it's run and drive, but we'll see what happens with it, man. I'm going to add it to the watch list and you guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys, and now we're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. And I know you're going to be like, TK, is this an all BMW day? No, 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 it's not. It's just what I have to show you today. And you're, you're not going to believe the next one that's coming up. But this one is an X5. And I wanted to see how bad this was, because sometimes this can look really bad. And it's really just cosmetic. But nope, that's why I wanted to see it. And you can see that um, core support pushed all the way up into the motor. Now, she probably could be fixed, but not worth it for me. These cars aren't extremely expensive body-wise to fix because the fenders are plastic. The hoods are readily available. It's really just plastic stuff, you know? And But where that core support is pushed up into the motor like that and it's pinched wiring harnesses and everything else it's just not worth it for me so yeah there's that well let's keep it moving all right guys if it is not an all bmw day today it is at least so far it's been all german right <laughs> Look at this beautiful old Porsche. Now she is listed as a no start, which also means that it probably won't run and drive. It's an 83 Porsche 944, 92,000 miles on it. Man, really clean if you ask me, man. Ooh, got the tinted tail lights. That tint in the back is horrible though. Replace that tint. You know, get a fresh coat of paint, get it running. This thing would look great. That sunroof looks like it's seen better days too, though. Look at that sunroof. Ouch. Oof. No, this is bad. Yeah, that's not good. She's all ratted out. Oh, wow. All right, well, there is that, ouch. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. 
I know we're going pretty quick through the, some of these today, but I mean, it is what it is, guys. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find something a little bit better. Oh, look at that. It's an eco diesel. Look at that. That thing. Wow. And this has got the little diesel. Now, I heard real bad horror stories about these eco diesels that they're um they run horrible they blow up and only re reason i could say like i kind of have an idea is you know i bought a 2020 silverado and uh it was very similar up oh, she ain't got no power see this if they if this is open and this is out it tells me oh yeah and the, the start button is stuck in interior and stuff is really nice though it's a laramie wow i didn't know they made the laramie in the eco diesel but okay she looks clean really nice on the interior but hell no on the uh, mechanical yeah they these eco diesels are an absolute nightmare and i know someone's gonna say man i've had mine i got four hundred thousand miles on it i ain't had an issue well unfortunately that's you know congratulations for you i'm happy for you but no yeah this is bad and i love how they put the big giant diesel tip like you got a real diesel <laughs> that's like putting a fart can on a four cylinder oh man let me shut up let's keep it moving all right guys next yeah, I know. I know what you're going to say. Damn it, TK. Not another one. But yeah, hashtag another one. And this one's hail damaged. Uh, I have no doubt that this thing will run and drive just fine. I wouldn't even repair the damn hail damage. I'd drive it exactly the way it is. It'd be an everyday beater. With the 3.0, this is probably one of the most reliable BMWs you can get. I'm just going to tell you right now. Runs and drives, 105,000 miles. That is nothing for these. I think mine had, what, 260 on it when I sold it? 260,000. And I didn't, you know, I traded it in on the new, uh, next to newest generation of the uh, X5. And this one is beautiful. Like, I don't even care about the hail damage. And to be honest, it doesn't, you know, the hail damage isn't like what i had on the gto i bet you a lot of that could come out if you cared about it let's just if you care about it i don't i we really don't we can give two shits about the hail to be honest it wouldn't bother me it might bother other people but it wouldn't bother me she runs let's take a look under the hood There we go. Wow. Yeah. She sounds good. There's no extra tap, ticks, or nothing. Regular black sapphire metallic. Now the kicker here is, does the AC work? Because if the AC works, sign me up. Put me in, coach. Oh man, look, it even has, this has got to be a newer, it is, it's the last year, it's an 05. Wow. Man, the onboard computer is still working. This thing was taken care of, that's how you know too, like look at how clean the seats and stuff are. This whole thing is extremely put together nice. And that also concerns me because if other people see this, they're gonna pay. They're gonna pay for this because they know what kind of vehicles these are. Now, here's the one concern I am having. Um, 
I am not seeing the air conditioner work at all. She runs though. It could just be that it needs to be recharged, but more than likely the compressor's done on this. Would be my guess. Yeah. I'd still bid on it. It'd be a great winter putt putt. I can tell you that right now. Huh. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. All right, guys. We're going to this next one here, and some of y'all might laugh. Some of y'all might kiki and think it's funny. But we have a uh, Chevy Sonic. Now, if you've never seen these before, this was like that car I posted, which I, I was giggling and laughing and kikiing about. The hard tune Sonic. This is a newer version of it. It looks like it's got hail damage all over it. The hail damage looks pretty significant. It doesn't look small, that's for sure. Ouch. Yeah, that sucks. 80,988 miles on the odometer on this one it is uh wow but this could be a candidate for the next hard tuned superstar <laughs> i know y'all gonna be like tk you are a troll man no i'm not i know you're gonna think i'm going right to the x3 next just look i know you're like tk just saw another bmw he's gonna look at it no man have a little faith. I'm not just looking at all BMWs. I need to see if they got any GTOs out here, though. Um, I need a parts car. Stop. Stop. All right. Let's see what the AC do. It runs. But does the AC work? Up. Oh. It seems like the air conditioner works. So, whoo! I'm gonna take advantage of that for a minute. 80,000 miles, the gas light is on because she's probably out of gas. Yeah. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. Would you guys like to see me build a hard tuned Sonic? And if you don't know what I'm talking about and you really wanna laugh, then go check out the video just type in tk's garage hard tuned sonic and there's like two different videos of it i promise you you're gonna laugh it's hilarious it's funny it's a good time so uh yeah So, I can say, this thing definitely runs pretty good. I have no complaints. Uh, AC works, runs good. I think this could be a good hard-tuned vehicle. Let me know what y'all think. All right, so we're going to get out of this one. Oh, we're going to go to the next. Oh, boy, boy, boy. I told you it wasn't all gonna be BMWs, guys, even though, ooh, toasty. Even though I know that's what y'all wanna. Look at this Charger RT. Golly. Oof. Back it up, flip it, and rub it down. Ooh. You had this thing upside down and inside out. Damn. Uh, yeah yeah i would say that that one that one's completely finished that's what i would say Woo. all right guys now we're going after one that's close to my heart man look at this i don't know if it's a transient oh, i think it's just a firebird it might just be a firebird i just saw this and i had to come look at it firebird Wow, no odometer and bio. That dashboard looks like it's all destroyed. The glass is cracking and coming apart. 
this thing lived a hard life. I wish they would have made... Did they make a manual 5.7 Firebird or Trans Am? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I wanted to see that one, but... Yeah, that's a negative for me. Oh, my God. That thing is... Say it with me. Disgusting. Hell no. Yeah, that's bad. I'm gonna pass on that one. That's a negative. All right. We'll keep it moving. I got this nice little Mustang up here. It runs and drives. Looks like it's got performance package. Woo! It's got performance package uh, rims. Got the little lights in the front. 36,000 miles. Oh, hail. Look at the dents. Look at the windshield all cracked. Hail damage. Looks like on that side, I'm guessing, too, because this side looks pretty clear. 56,000 miles. Oh, there's one piece of hail damage here. Oh, and it's just a, oh, it's just a four-cylinder. Or it's a 3.7. It's crap. Yeah, so no wonder they, they to of course they're going to total it. It's not worth, it's not worth shit. Well, in this market, it might be worth a little more, but, oh, yeah, small screen and everything. Yeah, this poser-ass car. All right, next. I'm going to keep it moving because that, that was some straight bullshit, as they like to say, bullshit. All right, let's take a look at this F-150, which, no, you know I'm not going to bid on this. 22,272 miles because it's going to go for too much damn money. It's clean. Cracked windshield. Okay, why is it here? Now you got me a little bit intrigued. Like, why is it here? Where's the damage? It's Oklahoma edition. Yeah. I don't see why it would be here. Oh, damn it. And I lost my little fuzzy ball anyway. Man. Sometimes. Sometimes this is a real pain in the ass. You know that? I'm going to have to go see if I can find that. Let's finish looking at this first. That sucks. That really. How do you say that? That really chaps my ass. That really chaps my ass. Let's look at the interior. She's clean. Definitely clean. Uh, that got to be a theft recovery, I'm guessing. You can see the whole thing tore apart over there. Let's see if she's got any power. Probably not. Yeah, I can see this has all been tore up too. Yeah, so it's a theft recovery. That's why it's here. All right, well, we're not missing nothing. It is what it is. All right, well, let's keep it moving. Having to retrace my steps to find my damn dead cat. That's a pain. So I apologize, guys. I don't want to lose this. I'm going to glue it in place. I'm going to rock the rest of this one with no dead cat on the mic. So if you get an occasional little gust of wind or something, just bear with your boy. All right, just bear with your boy. All right. So, I know we were kind of fast and kind of quick running through here today, but the other reason is, in case y'all didn't know, this is why I respect Randy so much. He comes out here for y'all and will bust out like four of these a week for y'all. Hell no. If I live out here, man, I'm not doing no four of these a week for y'all. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, man. It's too damn hot. It is too damn hot to be out here in this sun. But if you're serious about bidding on a few cars, you absolutely have to come out here and look at them. Because if you don't, and you're just like, I'm just going to bid on them just because, 
you will burn yourself. Like you're, you'll be so mad with yourself for not just taking the time to come out and check it out. You, you're gonna be like, oh, I should have looked at it. I should have looked at it. Yeah, you should have, but you didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just how that goes, man. All right. I want to see this bends. It's come up a couple times in a row, a couple weeks in a row. And then I got one more classic joint to show y'all. Maybe two on the way out. But this one, this E-Class had a nice little front end accident, but nothing too major. It's really just cosmetic. It's a fender, a hood, the headlight on that side and that's it just that lens right just that lens and you can see that i already placed this side right so just replace those front bumper this fender's cool and this thing i mean yeah the airbags did deploy but it's not unrepairable you could repair this for sure for sure and this is an e500 this is clean man for what it is you know this is clean all right well we know it's it's listed as a run and drive but i'm not gonna mess with it with a hood smashed up like that i got another one right here this is one of the last mercedes i had was this right here this body style what was it an e320 i think is what it was i had the older lights though the ones that were the square lights recessed with the plastic around them it was right before this body right before that facelift on this one and I liked it. I enjoyed it, man. I, en I really enjoyed the car. Really, it really made me happy for a long time. All right. All right, guys. That, oh, it got, I, got, I guess I got to look at you, right? That's going to do it for today's live walk around. First and foremost, major shout out to Chris uh, and his entire staff out here at the yard here at Copart. So major, major shout out to him and major salute uh, to them for allowing me to come out here and do what I do, uh, passing through. Major shout out to uh, to Randy over at Auto Walks and Rebuilds for letting me to come. Uh, you know, this is his this is his thing, man. This is his territory. You know, I always I always like to talk to somebody or, or ask first before I come to somebody else's city and hit somebody's co part up. So major shout out to him because he was super, he's like yeah have that man. So. Made a shout out to him. But again, like made a shout out to the staff and the entire team out here at the Dell City location out here at Copart. If you're uh, looking to get anything that you see out here, or if you think like, you know, I really like to try my hand at this thing that TK is doing and try to buy a couple of these cars and see if you could flip them for whatever or keep them for yourself, but just get you a decent vehicle for yourself. You can do that and go to uh copart.com forward slash tk's garage and um sign up for an account get a guest account you can jump into a couple of auctions and then uh you know sign up as a member so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here for the day i actually have a pickup that i gotta do all the way up in kansas city so uh you guys will be seeing me up there uh, here really soon. But anyways, till next time guys, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Auction, which we'll go ahead and start uh, right now. We'll see what some of these vehicles are going for on bid and uh, see if we win anything. All right guys, so we're going ahead to get into the live auction portion of today's video. The seller has revealed the minimum bid in and uh, some of these cars aren't going for outrageous money today. The seller has released the minimum bid. Bonus time. 750 for a Camry, even with that kind of mileage, it still is not bad. It's not horrible. Get this music off. So 800 bucks. XT6. Let's get that 3.6 motor. That's just too much. 55,000 my ass. Sold on approval. Yeah, that'll be back up next week. They're going to say that was too low. 
The C Max, man, as long as you knew what you were buying with this, this was a good car. Everybody expected it to beat the Prius, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But it's a good hybrid. I mean, it was a decent hybrid car. $2,250. It's worth $9,500. Yeah. I mean, if it goes for anything under three grand, you are doing good on this car. Yeah, like I said, any, anything under three thousand on this one is actually a pretty solid deal. Bonus time. This is a hot lot. I bet it is. But I think it's going to sell for under a third. Yeah, it's gone. Sold. That's not a bad deal at all. Not Way at better. all. This doesn't make any sense at all. Like they shouldn't be bid. They shouldn't bid this one up over fifteen hundred. I mean, it's already too high. I think, but that's just me. Bonus time. Twelve fifty, twelve hundred. Sold. That's not bad. That's not bad. New bidder. Yeah, here we go. New bidder. This is clapped out Chevy Equinox, and they're gonna run this one up. Unbelievable. Bonus time. Sold on approval. <laughs>